Alright guys and welcome to another episode of how to make a resource pack. In today's episode we're going to be learning how to add custom block textures, at least one way. Now as you can kind of see behind me I have two different brick textures behind me and uh, this is not because of alternate blocks like, uh, like we learned in one of the tutorials. Instead we're working with slabs. So, uh, as you know, without a resource pack, if you were to do a double slab, then it would just look like a regular block. So if we were to do like two granite slabs, it would look like like this. Uh, but with a resource pack, you're able to change that. So then you can you can create an entirely custom texture since uh, the game reads this as a double slab. Uh, if you look over here on the right, it says type double, then that means it's in like a different block compared to this block, which is just a granite block. Um, so, so because of that, we can, we can use that to our, our advantage to be able to create custom half slabs. So if you look back here, I have a, a list of all the, the different blocks. I kind of, I don't know why I broke that block, but I might've done it by accident. Um, but here are like all the different blocks you would be able to change. So you can add quite a bit of custom textures. Uh, I mean, you, you could do quite a bit, but, uh, for simplicity, simplicity sake for this video, uh, I'm going to be changing the, the diorite slab. We're going to do another, uh, white, we're going to do a white brick texture. So, so, so kind of like the granite one, but we're just going to do a white one, uh, just because we don't have many white blocks in, in the game, to be fair. Um, we, we've gotten more over the, the past few years, but, um, not as many uh as i i wish we had but again you could like you could do this exact same method to any of these blocks so you could just choose one of these these double slab variants and these are all the different variants so so just like look at them if you if there's one that you like choose it um but yeah i'm gonna be doing the, the diorite one so again we're gonna want to open up the resource pack so just go to open resource pack and then open the pack folder Okay, so once you've opened up your resource pack folder, you're going to want to head into your resource pack, go to assets, go to your Minecraft folder, go to your textures folder, and then go to your blocks folder. Now, you can either create an entirely new texture, or you could uh, just pull inspiration from one. I'm going to be pulling inspiration from this diorite double slab. Uh, but if you're trying to make a new one, you're going to want to, usually you're going to want to go to file, new, and then you're going to want to change your width and height depending on whatever program you're using to 16 by 16. Again, 16 by 16 is the default size for a texture. Now I'm going to be changing my texture uh, to how I want it to look in this case for the brick texture. Uh, but you, you could do whatever you want. And right after I'm done, I'll be back and we'll go over the, the rest of the steps for the tutorial. Alright guys, so I ended up finishing my texture right here. I have my diorite double slab texture. And so what we're going to want to go is uh, back to our Minecraft folder. So again, you just go back two folders before the textures one. And you're going to want to go to your models area and then to your blocks one. And in here is where we're going to want to uh, mess around with the, the double slab texture. Um, so what I ended up doing, at least in the case of my, my granite one, I ended up kind of just pulling all the different uh, JSON files from the models area from the the dot minecraft so i'm going to do pretty much the exact same thing i still haven't organized them but again i would suggest organizing them inside of these uh folders like i, I showed before um but but yeah i'm going to end up dragging over all the the different json files involving diorite okay so right here we have all the the different di uh, diorite.json so we're going to want to take pretty much the ones uh the main diorite one the slab variants all right, so once you got these uh, these three diorite uh, JSON files, what you're gonna wanna do is pretty much just make a new diorite uh, JSON file. So again, to make that, you could just make a new text document, rename it to, uh, in this case, I'm gonna be doing diorite underscore double slab dot JSON. Again, you wanna put the dot JSON, make sure it's not a TXT file or, or uh, any other form of uh, file, we want to make sure it's dire, uh, uh, a slab one. Um, so once you've done that, you're going to want to open it up. Uh, I have mine opening up to, to Notepad++, but again, Notepad works perfectly fine. So in the case of, of uh, the diorite double slab, you're just going to open up uh, your diorite.json. And you can pretty much just copy the entire thing right here. So what this is pretty much saying is we're going to act as if the double slab is um, 
a, a full-on block and we're going to be applying a certain texture in this case we're, i'm going to be doing diorite underscore slab or double slab underscore slab uh so again you want to name this after whatever you have inside of your textures folder again just look up over here i have mine under diorite underscore double underscore slab once you've done that you could save that and we're going to want to go back to our block states folder now and we're going to want to we're going to want to go over into our resource pack development folder into our assets folder minecraft and then we're going to want to go to block states here and we're going to want to look up diorite and in here we have the diorite underscore slab one so we're going to want to drag that one over into our block states folder uh again it's a little bit on the confusing side so you gotta have to keep up so we have this diorite slab under uh, uh dot json and then we have the the one that's for the the models folder which is different all right uh this one this one is pretty much saying hey you want to call this model which in this case we want to be calling the diorite underscore double underscore slab uh so right here where it says type equals double uh we're gonna want to change the model in this case we're gonna want to change it to diorite underscore double slab and you want to make sure that's according to the, the dot json inside of your models folder um once you've done that, you should be able to go back to Minecraft and your texture should show up. And there you go. Now you have your own custom uh, double slab texture. Here, here is mine. And it works uh, works pretty well. I think it looks uh, okay. I might want to lighten up the, the grout in between the bricks a little bit. Um, but I think it would look well. Actually, I can actually test it out over here. I have this build that I'm working on. Uh, but if I could change all the diorite, or even if I change like half of it, maybe, or maybe I do the bottom half. Let's see. So I start to replace the diorite with diorite underscore slab. And we want to do double. So there we go. We have this, this brick texture in there now. But yeah, anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the, the video. If you guys did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I will put out more resource pack development videos uh, down the road. And I hope to have uh, a fourth life episode out by tomorrow. Uh, and, and hopefully some more Minecraft videos and, and, and a really big one in a few weeks. Um, so, so stick around because uh, the, the content's only going to get better in the coming weeks. Thank you guys so much. See you guys later. Bye.